Okay guys, got a older Ford here and this video I'm, uh, I'm gonna focus on cleaning because so many people, a lot of do-it-yourself people and even window tenors, uh, and everybody's window tenors have their own way to do it, but uh, I'm just gonna show you some little tricks that I do and we'll do in the course of the video several different ways. Uh, to keep contamination down. So it's got the felt. Uh, I've known people that take a, a heat gun and burn this felt or some people just wet it, but I think a tried and true method is to tape it. So I start the tape and let's go up here and this is kind of a, a smoother surface tape so that we uh, uh, and of course it never sticks, but uh, the smoother your surface here, the easier it's gonna be for your film to slide back in there. And what I wanna do is uh, I use two pieces because we're going to uh, two-step this window, meaning we're going to, uh, we're gonna tent the top of it and then we're going to tent the bottom. So I put a piece of tape down low, and then I put a piece up top so that when we do the top, we're going to have to take all of that tape off before we roll the window up. And by having this piece, we can take it off. Uh, we'll do the same thing over here, and then we still have the tape at the bottom. So let's get this side right here, and the tape uh, I think it's the best way to get in here and get the job done and it look good when we're finished. And, and I, I don't like taking a car and burning anything on it. So here we go. We have our sides taped up here. And remember, oh geez, how many times have I not remembered? Uh, remember, when you roll your window up after tinting, uh, before you roll it up, you definitely want to take this tape off. Uh, and if you put it too far back into your seal, uh, then even after it's tinted, it's hard to get that, uh, that tape back out. Uh, I did a customer's car this morning that uh, here on the front, I believe it was a Ford. Uh, that happened to me that I, I got my tape a little bit too far back in it. And so when I went to pull my tape off, I left a little bit in the back. So I had to uh, wait, uh, dry the window down at the bottom with some heat, and then uh, roll it down very carefully because it'll peel. Uh, so I had to wait and roll the window down and get that tape out for the customer. So we have all of that prepped. So next, right down in here, man, uh, there's a lot of dirt down in here. So what we're gonna do is we'll take a microfiber and some glass cleaner here, and let's call it seal cleaner, right? Uh, Cause that's what we're cleaning. But we're gonna use glass cleaner. Okay, so here we go. Top of the door panel's nice and clean. And so now I'm just coming in uh, this shank just happened to be handy, so I'm using it. A person could use a hard card or any number of tools, but you can see we got we got a lot of dirt and debris out of there. So, uh, boom, there we go. And let's put the key in here. Roll the window up making sure it doesn't take the film or take the tape off. And here, just so 
I can see what I'm doing better. I'm going to wipe down the outside of the window and notice we clean the top real good. And let's start with uh, a razor blade method. And you know, on a older vehicle like this, I think, uh, the razor blade method is what's going to work best for us. So I'm going across, down into my edges, and this is a, a nice stainless steel single edged razor blade. And I don't want to push dirt back into that seal, so I'll come over to it and then I'll stop right there. And I have the top of the window clean. And I come across it with my squeegee. And now that is pretty darn clean, but you know, seeing as it's a pretty old vehicle and kind of dirty, uh, I'll take and run a microfiber back into that edge. So now I can roll the window on up and clean the bottom. Uh, sometimes, doesn't look to be the case here, but sometimes there'll be the stickers here and just be careful and uh, Make sure you get all the glue off. And down in this corner, kind of probably the hardest spot to reach, right? And then we'll just take my squeegee again and clean. Now, I have been squeegeeing windows clean for probably over 40 years. Uh, before I started window cleaning, I actually was a high-rise window cleaner. Uh, so, you know, that was, that was kind of one sweep. So just let me show you real quick here. I can wipe the squeegee and I start in one corner and I come over uh, this might be a little easier for anybody that's doing a do-it-yourself window tent. Uh, and so we come across and we're accomplishing pretty much the same thing here. Now, boom. So for demonstration purposes, there we go. One thing, a couple of things we don't want to do is when we're cleaning the window, if we, we come across here and we stop and we don't uh, clean off our squeegee and then we start here and uh, in the middle of the window, uh, you know, it just, it looks clean to the maybe to us but and i'm wiping this sometimes and sometimes i'm not uh so the, i think the the gist the main thing i want to get across here is don't always wipe your squeegee and don't start in the middle of a glass area always start at your edges uh, with a little bit of practice uh, we can again just be sure and like right now all of my waters coming out or my glass cleaner out of the bottom so always have your squeegee angle if I'm coming in here like this then I leave this trail <laughs> of solution and that's something that we don't want to do because that little trail of solution could have some debris in it. And there we go. Real quick, before we cut this.
this video short is right here. Here, this is a six inch Unger squeegee. Uh, these are at Home Depot. Uh, you can find these on many, many websites. And it does the very same thing as the other squeegee that I was using. It's just different, right? And so whichever one you have, uh, that's the one that you want to use, okay? And then we have a good microfiber. And so now this window, we could roll it down. I would roll it when I roll it down. I would clean this top again because even though it's, it's taped up, Debris, debris, debris. The the less contamination that that we get on our window, the cleaner our window film job is going to be. Okay, guys, if this type of uh, content, if you like it, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, that helps us out, and uh, you'll be able to catch all of the new videos we put out. Thank you. Okay, uh, same Ford vehicle. Uh, also, you know, this, th I like to cover all my door panels, but, man, especially some of the cloth, uh, definitely. You want to cover those. So, what I use, and I'm going to grab it here, uh, I use a, a sticky plastic, which is sold as a carpet protector uh, and by golly it works really good so as you can see now the uh, door panel is protected I'm using a little bit stickier glue or glue ah, I'm using a little bit stickier tape and uh, I use a lot of tape because we tent windows all day. And so I have different types of tape for different reasons and, and uses. This is really good overall. The blue costs a little more, but uh, it's all good. So on this window, let's focus just on the actual cleaning. Uh, and got the panel protected. Uh, so now I'm just taking, and this is, and you hear me in my other videos talking about this. This is a, a white scrunchie. Uh, the thing about the white scrunchies is you want to be very careful and keep them nice and clean. The fibers don't come loose uh, from the pad itself. And so as you can see, uh, it's a good way to scrub the window versus using the razor blade. And then we can come in here and clean it any way we want. But basically, I'll get this window ready and tint it. But I just wanted to show you uh, how to protect the panel and also uh, how to use a white scrunchie. Uh, I know if I'm not tinting windows, I'm online talking to people about tinting windows. And I know on a lot of new cars, uh, we use this pad here. Now, if it gets dirty and you're on a back window and you're cleaning, you can mess up uh, the defroster with this here if you've got a chunk of dirt. This window had actually been broke out so when I cleaned down in this seal, like, like I showed on the other side here, uh, when I cleaned this seal, I had lots of broken glass. So always be careful, look out for stuff like that. Okay, thank you.